Hello, I'm Neil, and you're in bed with Dead Rentals. I am going to ask a bunch of questions to these dudes, and uh, and much hilarity will ensue. Uh, the first question is for Ronan. What happened last night? Um, I ate a big burger. I debated for four hours whether to have a chocolate malt. Decided against it, even though I really, really wanted it. Sometimes I do that. I think myself out of cakes. Just to be clear for everyone that's wa- watching hamburger and chocolate malt, they're euphemisms for other things, right? Yeah, it was Berlin. Who knows what happens? Yeah. What is a chocolate malt then? Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's ice cream. It's in a massive glass yeah. with chocolate and malt. All euphemisms for things. Yeah, sounds like a chocolate. What happened to you last night? I went on a stag with a load of 12 year olds. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Uh, Ross, what happened to you? Well, last Neil, night? I went to sleep in a, in a, a dormitory style uh, bedroom situation with you guys. Okay. Yeah, cool. It was great crack. <laughs> Sounds radical. Did it smell funky? We should probably explain <laughs> that we were in a hostel where there were a bunch of 12 year olds. <laughs> Kier didn't specifically sleep with 12 year olds. That was anyone sleeping. I'm not sp- specifically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that out of Let's that keep out this of it. conversation Ross, vague. Ross was in a bunk bed and Ronan was covered with chocolate malt. Okay. Um, Ross, what is the last nightmare you had? Oh, gosh. I get sleep paralysis. I get sleep paralysis. It's not technically like a nightmare, but it's where you wake. <laughs> it's where you wake up just as you're falling asleep, or or just as you're waking up, or your mind wakes up before your body does. So you're paralyzed. You're conscious. And you can't. Just, yeah. So that's as scary as like yeah. I might be able to open my eyes a little bit, but generally I'd just be I'd be lying there, unable to move. I think we experienced it once where Ross was kind of making noises. Oh yeah, and then you woke up and you're like, oh, yeah, you're, yeah. you're asking us to. And you're asking us to help you. Right. You said it sounded like they're having a seizure. It did. The best thing about this is one of our friends doesn't believe that it's a real thing. So he just says, wake up. Who's that? Wake up. I don't want to name him on camera, but you know him. And he's with us. And there's not that many other people, not in the band, that are with us. Cool. It's Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Kieran, if you could Hi. choose whomever you want, who should write a lullaby for you? For me? Mm-hmm. I would like... Also, the grammar is fantastic in that question. If you could choose whomever you want. Whomever you want. Which is what you should say. I would have said whoever. I think I'd like you to... uh, Now. Now, yes. Kieran, you're the best boy in the world. Don't you have a lovely sleep? You're a lovely boy. Go to sleep. I promise. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Ronan. What is the oddest thing you ever took into bed? Um, you can't say it's a of guilt. Yeah, um, I suppose Connor last night, maybe. Connor, um, yeah. For those of you who don't know, Connor's a uh, friend of ours and he, he's driving us around Germany on this tour. He's a kind of like a Viking, a Viking um, looking man. He's got red hair down to his backside bottom or rear end his sword <laughs> and he also has a beard down to his <laughs> table and so he looks like is it Hamish is that who Brendan played in Braveheart Hamish I don't know anyway watch Braveheart it's a great movie and another thing <laughs> cool um, Ross did you ever have a foreboding dream that actually came true no I feel like Kieran is an answer hilarious do, you? <laughs> do I have an answer to that yeah because you just no. No, I just thought, isn't that, isn't that traumatic? I, um, I did dream a lot about, um, come to school in the day. Yeah, I've done that. That was fine. I've done that, I mean, I've done that. Yeah. I've gone to school. Gone to school, school, school naked. No, I get it, I get it again. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, all right, that, um, Ronan. Yes. Uh, if you could choose whomever you want to perform a song in bed with you, who would that be and why? Oh, um, probably Justin Timberlake. That's right. right. Yeah. Um, he's a sensual man. He's got great rhythm. Do you want a sensual man? No, no. To, 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 get into to bed perform a song with you. Yeah. In bed. In yeah. bed. Which well, doesn't truly really doesn't matter that he's sensual. It like it whether it's like 
What did you know, say about his people on a big stage or in, or in bed? He's still the same great performer, the same great sass. But yeah, but why did yeah, you? It, 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 it didn't have to be sensual. Yeah, it could be like you're not having sex. It's just, know, you're not having sex. It's just I appreciate. Just, that was the choice he made, though. I appreciate yeah, yeah, fair enough. energy and performance, all types of energy. Why again, right? energy? Yeah, and performance. And performance. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I know when I perform, it's real. For, yeah. It's talking about singing, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Kieran, if this was your last night on Earth, what would you do? Um, that was like Groundhog. It's a Veruca surprise. Because we were surprised. <laughs> Veruca <laughs> 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 what Veruca surprise? Uh, I would invent a crazy new dessert uh, called Veruca surprise. Ah, uh, Veruca surprise <laughs> is what I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, it's, I think it's time to ask you all the same question. And that's going to be our last question. And that is, which monster sleeps under your bed? Ross. Some sort of clown monster. Point, pointing at me, laughing. <laughs> cool. Justin Timberlake. Oh. I had this dream, but actually, come, come back to the previous question, where I, I was like hiding under a stool in a circus, and there's a clown um, throwing confetti over me, and I'm crying. But it was real. It actually happened. You not recently. You what? When you were a kid, you yeah uh, yeah. I should have said that the because I was scared of clowns. Must have been a big no, circus. Like, like, yeah, this happened in real life. Yeah, it was a chair. You know, but maybe it wasn't still. We had a circus. A vague of details. Yeah, you were at a circus. You ran around. Haven't been since. Well, where was the stool? Was it on stage? Was it during the performance? I don't know if I was on stage. Or not. Someone so. got you up. The clown got you up. Put the stool on. Trapped you. Trapped you. But ever since then, like fun fairs. Even, and you were what? Even. You were tw- 29. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was in my like, early, late 20s. <laughs> Are you serious? So, yeah, so, big we'll stool. talk about it more later. Okay. Cool. Um, well, that's it. Uh, <laughs> you have been in bed with Del Rentos. Go on, check something out it's out on the internet. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> the sequences we tried, unbroken, untied. Taken like the child that you are.